Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do number 680 valid palindrome. So we have a function that takes an S as a string, and it wants us to turn, return true or false if the string can be a palindrome after deleting at most one character from it. So here we delete no characters from it and it's a palindrome. Here we can delete one character from it, either B or C, and it's a palindrome. And here, if we delete one, it's still not a palindrome. If we delete B, it's not. If we delete A, it's not. If we delete C, it's not. So the idea here, it builds upon the basic finding palindrome problem. And to do that first, we have to find it if it's a palindrome. We have a left pointer and then a right pointer. And then we'll check if they're equal. If they are, we keep traversing until the pointers overlap. If it doesn't equal, we return false. So we're gonna build upon that. So when we use that, when it, when it hits the case where they're not equal, we update the left pointer by one and then check whatever is left, if that's a palindrome. And if that is, we know the entire string is a palindrome. And if the left side doesn't work, we would check the right side, delete the right pointer, I mean, move the right pointer down by one and check whatever is left over. If whatever is left over, is a palindrome, the entire string is a palindrome because everything so forth so far up to that point was a palindrome. So we don't need to include what's there before. So what you want to do is that first you want to create left pointer and assign it to zero. Next we want to do create right pointer and assign it to S dot length minus one. Now we can do a while left pointer is less than right pointer. And here we want to do the case where they're not equal. If the values of the pointer are not equal. And here we can find palindrome. We can use the, pretty much the same logic and we're gonna outsource it into another function, palindrome with left pointer added one. And then we do the same thing on the right side, find palindrome with right pointer minus one. And if either of those work, we know is a palindrome, so we return true. So what we can do So, and if it doesn't work, if both of them don't work, we return false. So we can just return if either or true. And we can assign these to a, a values what we get returned. So we'll return true or false. And then if it doesn't hit this case where they're not equal, we want to increment left pointer, decrement, right pointer. And lastly, if it makes it all the way through, we return true. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this in code. Let's do left, left pointer equal to zero, left right pointer equal to s dot left minus one while left pointer is less than right pointer. If they're not equal, S index left pointer do not equal S index right pointer. We do 
we can call a function so we can check check sub inner palindrome we can call it and pass in and we're gonna have to create a new function for this and then we'll pass in the left pointer right pointer and then the s const check left and here we want to increment add we don't want to increment we want to add one to it so it doesn't affect the overall loop here but we want to add left to it move it over one and then const check right and then we call the same same function but this time we decrement right pointer as a minus one. And pass an S. And then we return either check left or check right. And then now, if it doesn't hit this if case, left pointer goes up by one, right pointer goes down by one. And then if we make it true, we return true. Okay, now we do the sub function check. Right, and now we do the same idea with this while loop, while left pointer is less than right pointer. If S index of left pointer doesn't equal right S index right pointer, return false. And then we do the same thing, left pointer plus plus right pointer minus minus. Then we return true. So it's gonna go all the way through the sub palindrome inside of this. Great. So the time and space complexity. Since we're looping through S with the left and right pointer, at most we want to hit every point once. So it's going to be O of N, where N is the length of S. And now the space complexity. Since we're creating constant variables here, we're not adding anything more. So it's going to be O of one. And that's how you solve this problem. Thank you so much.